Well, the State Board of Regents voted unanimous, unanimously today about new rules that require private schools to prove that they are giving students an education that's equivalent to students in public schools. News 12's Blaze Gomez talked to the Rockland activists behind the changes about what this means for thousands of Hudson Valley students and what's next. After years of shared concerns, not can read a normal a sentence in English. Parents and former yeshiva students' complaints about the alleged lack of basic education in some private ultra-Orthodox schools are finally being heard. We're certainly uh, happy with the fact that we're making progress, but it shouldn't have taken 10 years. Naftuli Moster is a former yeshiva student who founded the nonprofit group Yafit. The group is responsible for alerting the state to the plight of thousands of yeshiva students in New York City and the Hudson Valley, who allegedly aren't being taught math, English, science, and social studies while receiving hours of daily strict religious instruction. On Tuesday, the State Board of Regents passed new rules requiring all private schools register and prove students are getting an education equivalent to public school through testing, accreditation, or district review. If not, they'll face losing public funding that a New York Times report cited totaled $1 billion within the last four years. The new rules build on existing state policy, but have been met with criticism from religious leaders who say parents have the right to choose the type of education their students receive. There's also confusion about how they'll be informed. One possibility is to have local school districts oversee private schools, but that option is also drawing criticism from some people, including Senator James Skoufis. Skoufis tweeted that it'll be a strain on school districts and disrupt school boards. He believes the nearest BOCES or the state would be better suited. The state hasn't said yet how they plan on enforcing the rules, and Moster says he hopes whatever is decided will hold private educators accountable. We do hope that immediately there will be um, efforts to, to close the loopholes, add layers of accountability, and um, speed up any process, you know, to, to avoid further delays. The Times report found the new rules will impact as many as 50,000 children in private schools. Blaze Gomez, News 12. A state spokesperson said tonight that the rules recognize diverse communities across the state while providing several ways for private schools to demonstrate that students get a standard education.